Howdy, I'm Deb. And I'm Rose. And, and welcome, welcome to, to this, this old quilt. Today, we're going to be talking about this lovely quilt. And we're going to be talking about some of the issues that we've had to embrace with completing this lovely, lovely vintage pickle dish quilt from the 1930s. Where did it come from, Rose? This quilt actually came from Pensacola, Florida, and it arrived needing a tremendous amount of repair, which took several months. And after that was completed, then it went to the expert quilter, <laughs> Deb, and she's gonna talk about some of the quilting uh, that she did on this lovely gem. So this is a perfect example of embracing what you have. Um, when we were looking at designs on how we were going to quilt it, there was a lot of quilting. And if you can come forward, we'll show you. Let's pull that down a little bit. On these footballs right here, right there, on these footballs, they were very, very blousey which meant there was a little bit too much fabric in them. And in order to quilt that and not distort the quilt, the first thing I had to do was just go around the outside edge and hold it down and then just embrace what was there and quilt it down. And when you look at it as a whole, you don't see that at all. You see a beautiful pickle dish quilt it's very important to embrace the imperfections of the antique quilt because they simply did not have the tools. Um, it was much more rudimentary work, but like me, I have spots on my face. There are spots on this quilt and we choose to embrace those spots and those stains because they are authentic to the quilt. They are part of the history of the quilt and we don't want to damage the quilt by trying to remove part of its history uh, from it. Um, interesting on this quilt, there was a great opportunity to work on a, on a border and we specialized that and brought in a tremendous amount of crystal work, which we want to showcase to you. So go ahead and take a look at the detail work that's done on this quilt. And you can see what a fun border it is. And as well, what do you think, Deb, about the back of this quilt? Shall we share? We should share the back of this quilt. So this fabric is called Minky, um, a cuddle fabric. And it is incredible to look at. It shows the quilting like you cannot believe. It's just, it's almost a reversible quilt. It is so, the quilting just shows up so well. It's just beautifully yeah. done. So, and so in the day they used muslin or um, feed sacks that they would piece together. So bringing it up to today's standards and making sure that you can use it on your bed every day. Um, this fabric is actually a polyester fabric. It doesn't shrink. It washes beautifully yes. and it shows off quilting better than any other thing I've ever used. And we love it. We love it. And so it's something that you will see frequently on the quilts that we complete. So why don't you comment and let us know what you think about using Cuddle or Minky on the back of an antique quilt. We want you to like and we want you to share. And subscribe. Yes, because we're going to do this over and over again, and we're going to show you so many special quilts and special details that we've come to embrace. Yes, and and there is someone <laughs> up there, up there, that says thank, thank you, you for finishing my quilt. Yes. <laughs>